Okay, I have been working to get my gardens prepped and cleared and ready for spring. I have ignored this one and I haven't gotten to it yet because there is so much dead nettle growing in it and I would love to harvest some. These are um, cute in salads, but they are a little fuzzy. Pretty though, great garnish. I'm gonna do something else with them. Why would I pick these? Why would I save these? They are a great anti-inflammatory as well as high in vitamin C and they are a completely free vegetable so why not they're very mild can you focus and see there we go see how square the stem is cool right kind of fuzzy okay so here it is in comparison to me if you are at all familiar with stinging nettles you will see that size-wise, this is nothing like it. I'm not exactly sure why it has that name. There is no stinging whatsoever. It is actually a relative of the mint family. Not minty at all. It actually tastes uh, kind of like a strong spinach. So I think it's better to cook with rather than put in like salads, just because with the size, it's kind of dense so I don't I wouldn't really want to just like take this and just eat it I think cutting it up is better so lots of vitamin C high in antioxidants and I'm sure there's a lot of other great stuff about this plant organic right so kind of pretty all right okay there they are we're gonna dump them out And we're gonna chop them up and then I'm just gonna throw them in my pasta sauce which is basically just marinara and ground beef I've got two jars or cans of marinara and one pound of ground beef I will make a nice salad but this won't go in it this will just go in the pasta sauce for a little extra nutrition and Free vegetable. All right, there's my sauce. Nice and hot. I'm actually noticing it's a little meaty. I might add one can of diced tomatoes to it just to stretch it out a little. And we have all of that dead nettle. So what do you think that is? Two, I'd say that's a good two cups once it's all chopped. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I think I will definitely go one can of diced tomatoes just to give it a little more interest, a little more vegetable. See if it needs any extra garlic and we'll be good to go. Would your family eat this? I sure hope so. Mine will. Okay, dinner's all done. It was super good. The sauce, uh, was perfect. I did add that extra can of diced tomatoes just to give it a little more interest. The dead nettle did give it like a spinach-like flavor, which was great. Let's take a peek. I have a ton left. Adding all the extra uh, did guarantee that we'll have leftovers. Yay! So that should last us through lunch tomorrow, maybe Tuesday. So that's a win do it. Go find some dead nettle. Yum.